So this example is not just to get more practice using the compound interest formula, but to illustrate one of the powers of compound interest. As I mentioned before, we see the power of it when we start having longer term investments, and that's what we're gonna deal with a little bit here. So Matt has invested his $23,000 inheritance in an account that earns 13.6% compounded semi-annually. Interest rate is fixed for 10 years, and he plans to use the money for the down payment on a house in five to 10 years. So in question A, what I'm asking you for is what is the future, excuse me, future value of the investment after five years and after 10 years? So looking at five years, I'm gonna define the variables over here and then I'm gonna to flip to a new page to do the calculation. We know his principal that he has is $23,000. His interest rate is 13.6%, so 0 0.136. This is compounded semi-annually, means that interest is compounded twice per year. And in this case, the amount of time is five years. Now, when we get to the next part, for the 10 year time frame, everything else stays the same. He still has $23,000, 13.6% interest, twice per year compounding, but now time will be 10 years. So looking at this, we'll have to do two calculations and see Matt's value after five years and after 10. Copy out the formula. Substituting in what we know, P is 23,000. R is 0 0.136. N is 2. And the exponent would be 2 times 5 in this case. Working this out, in the bracket, 0 0.136 divided by 2 is 0 0.068. And the exponent 2 times 5 is 10. In the bracket, 1 plus 0 0.068 is 1.068, the power of 10. Working out that exponent, we get 1.9306. Eight nine nine one and multiplying, we get forty four thousand four hundred and five dollars, and two decimal places would give us eighty seven cents. Same thing now, but on his 10 year time frame. I'm not going to write out the formula again. We already have it once. So I'll just substitute in uh, P again 23,000. 1 plus 0.13, sorry, 1 plus 0 0.136 divided by 2. And the exponent now 2 times 10 because we're dealing with the 10 years. Working this out inside the bracket, 0.136 divided by 2 is 0 0.068.
2 times 10 is 20. In the bracket again, 1 plus 0 0.3068 is 1.3068 power root of 20. One point zero six eight to the power of twenty is three point seven two seven five six three five two nine. And multiplying that out, we get eighty five thousand seven hundred and thirty three dollars and ninety six cents. So now comparing to Matt's original $23,000. After the first five years, it grew to $44,000, growth of $21,000. It was close to doubling. But over those next five years, going from five to 10, it grew from $44,000 to $85,000. In those five years, this investment grew by $41,000. And that's what I mean when I talk about the power of compound interest. Because in the beginning, Matt is earning interest on mostly the $23,000 that he invested. As time goes on and more interest gets deposited in, he starts earning interest on that interest as well, which is why the growth accelerates. It goes from $21,000 in growth over the first five years to $41,000 over the next five. If he kept the money in that investment for longer, you would see that growth accelerate even more. 